Blessings, everyone, and welcome to Expressions of Faith. I'm Judith. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are new, please hit the subscribe button and join the Expressions of Faith family. It will bring my heart so much joy. I pray you guys are having a great day. Today, I am excited because I am doing day one in By the Well for God's new awesome devotional kit entitled To Tell Us Die, which means it is finished. Y'all, this is such an awesome, awesome, powerful devotional. And I am journaling day one. And I am journaling in 1 Peter 3, 18. And I'm just going to read from the devotional content. Most believers are familiar with the events of the crucifixion of our Lord. While these events are the main focus of Easter and communion, it's a spiritually healthy exercise to revisit the redeeming death of Christ on a regular basis to keep it fresh in our hearts and minds. With that in mind, the next few days, we're going to examine what was said at the cross. There were many witnesses to the crucifixion, and they fell into several categories. The mockers, the gawkers, the faithful, the foes, and God. All focused on one man who hung dying, but not just a man, but rather the very Son of God. All eternity past was looking forward to this event in history. And all eternity future would look back on the same event. Take a moment to ponder the magnitude of the God of the universe. Willingly laying aside his power and majesty to die. To die for the created. Philippians 2, 6-8 describes it. Though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself. By taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men, and being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. All these witnesses were present at the culmination of the great rescue plan of mankind, which had been in the heart of God from before the world was made. But most of the witnesses were oblivious to what was happening. The words are evidence of that. But don't forget, through the word of God, you are also a witness to this event. Do you realize what happened there? 1 Peter 3.18 declares, For Christ also suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the spirit. Dear heart, is it possible that even though you trusted Christ as your Savior. You still, from time to time, evidence traits of mockers, gawkers, or foes. Sobering thought, isn't it? How might a Christ follower slip into the mindset of a mocker, doubting and ridiculing the things of the Lord, or a gawker, an onlooker who just wants to see a good show, or even a foe, someone who stands in opposition to the will and work of God. Do you fall in one of these categories? Do I fall in one of these categories from time to time? Oh yeah, it's possible. Sila, calmly think of that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you with the love of the Lord. I appreciate you so much. I pray that this devotional content bless you. You can pick this devotional up at bythewellforgod.com. It is entitled to tell us that it is finished. Until next time, remember, it is all about Jesus. It is all about him. Everything is about Jesus Christ. I love you guys. Until next time, enjoy the rest of the video. Bye-bye.